Hey, what's going on guys? We're back to another video. And in the last video, basically, I spoke about um, mods I want to get done in the chimney and things I want to get done in the chimney, basically, like that. And it's still the same day, etc. like that. I just finished recording that video there. I decided to cut that video and bring up in the next video. Basically like that because I've got quite a bit of sidetracks and I don't want to basically have a like, three hour video. Like me just talking. Yeah. I'll probably shoot myself editing that video. Um, yeah. Number that's also my phone because I feel like it's like any... It's a quarter past eleven in the, half in the morning basically. Fun. Yeah, I shall see what I want for supper later. When it comes to that time, I'm so worried about lunch. But anyway, what's going on guys? Stream back here in another video today. Um, yeah. So the last video we were talking about the stuff in the gym that I want to get done. That stuff there. Um, I mean, it's quite a bit of things actually we want to get done. But today's main focus of the journey and that stuff is I want to find out from you guys. I think this would actually be a lot more better video or better conversation if I went live or something and I did a live video. But whew, I don't think it's worth it going with like 64 subs or something like that. And I don't even get probably at least 30 views on a video or something. It's very pathetic. I ain't gonna lie. But, but, I don't do this for the views, I don't do this for anything else, I basically do this for my own joy and pleasure. So yeah. Um, sure it's nice when I get people to interact with me and stuff through the channel. But, you know what? It is what it is for the meantime. One day I might hit a million subs, who the hell knows. But until then, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done already, please do so. Um, yeah. What mods do I want to talk about the journey today? Well, first of all, I want to talk about what do I think would be better? A roof rack or a trailer? When it comes to, you know, going 4x4 and that stuff there. Um, well, basically, it's a, there's two sides to a coin, basically, when it comes to this. And they both got their pros, they both got their own cons. Um, meh. So first of all, when it comes to like a roof rack and that versus a trailer, I'm more limited to what I can put on my roof or my chimney. And also, you know, there's like this whole things of actually how much you should actually be putting on the top of your chimney or on top of your vehicle. Actually, and there's this whole debate and stuff there. And also, how safe would it be for me with like a trailer, like, especially for everyday driving and that stuff? Do I really want to have that extra drag on the vehicle? You know, just for everyday driving. Because if I get one, I'm most likely going to get a permanent fixed one. Maybe the clip one wins, I'm not too sure, whichever one actually works better. So you guys let me know which one you think would be the best option out of the roof racks as well. And what do you think would be better, a trailer for the Jimny or a roof rack for the Jimny? Um, yes, but then like when it comes to the trailer nuts, I don't think I'm going to go out and buy a really expensive 4x4 trailer. What I'll most likely end up doing is A, I've, got, I've actually got two, two things. I don't know why I'm yawning. No. But I've got two options when it comes to a trailer. I want to get a trailer that that A go buy, like a Campmaster or a Fence trailer. New or second hand, I'm not too sure yet. It all depends on the quality I can find and actually what would be the best option for me. I want then also what I could do to it in order for me to make it go for a fouring and stuff with me if I ever do decide to do it or go. So I go down to the Kalahari or, um, I don't know, go take it through place or something like that. You know, be able to take it where I want to take it. And that's the thing. And not actually have to worry about, you know what, this trailer is only meant for roads. I want to be able to have a trailer that's so versatile I can take it off-roading. I can take it there. I can take it there. And also, I do not want to make, I also don't want a trailer there that's, you know, actually going to be a, th a mission to try pull. So I also want something like that. So maybe a... Um, a carbon, not a carbon fiber. Um, not silicone. Ah, uh, I can't think of what it's called now. Fiberglass, fiberglass, fiberglass. A fiberglass trailer. I'm so tired. Don't know why. It's not like I've been doing anything most of the day besides studying. That's probably why. But yeah, I want to go maybe a fiberglass or aluminium. Whatever trailer would be the better option. I'm thinking more of a fiberglass, 
but I also need to be able to see which one will be stronger, which one can actually take a bit of a beating. You know, if if, if rocks get flung at, flung at it or something like that, it's not going to crack or break or anything like that. I want it to also be very durable and light, basically. Um, if I can't pick it up and move it around, you know, just by my hand, it's too heavy type of a deal. There are a lot of trailers in that, and I ain't going to lie, I'm kind of strong to a certain degree. I ain't going to say I'm really strong. Uh, it could be like an understatement, but I can lift a decent amount of weight versus a lot of other people. Um, yes, because I, like, when the last month camping and or when I went out fishing with Christopher and them, I was able to pull the trailer off the off their Prado and actually move their trailer with all our luggage inside of it still off the Prado and move it to to easier access point for us. Um, so I can lift it up and I can move things around like that. But if I if I can't lift it up and move it around while it's empty. Even if it's on a flat surface, if it's on a flat surface, okay. If it's like, um, like a quite a like a bump or something that I've dropped it up, sure that's a different story or something like that, or like a little incline and that that's a different story. But if I can't move it when it's you know empty, I'm gonna say that's too heavy for me. But yeah, but I want a trailer that you know versatile. I want a trailer that as well. If if so. Me and my family decide to go, out, go away, sit down to the coast or go down to the bush, something like that. We can pull the trailer, say, be on my mom's rav for even. So I want it to be able to be that versatile. Like it can be, you know, used for as a family thing, and it can be used for camping. That's the thing. So basically, I want to, if I decide maybe go get a, I'm gonna kill myself with a carrying warning. Basically, go get myself like a, like a tent that goes on top of the trailer, that's a fair that I can use. If I want to get camping, I can put my fish rods in here because in the gym it's gonna be quite a mission to try to get that stuff in there. You know, it's just those small things I want to get done. Um like that. As well. So I'm not just sure which one will be better than that. I've seen people go four by fouring with the trailers and roof racks. More roof racks and trailers. But because what I'd end up doing I'll put Better suspension on a trailer, first of all. I would put same size tires what I've got. So, if I put, because I've got 15 inch tires, um, highway, British and highway trains on this vehicle at the moment. But I uh, most likely might end up putting all trains on the trailer as well, depending. Um, like I said, all depends on what I do and how I go with the vehicle. Um, if I keep all highway trains, I'll put highway trains on that. But I'll put the same size wheels in there because that, that it just makes more sense than having a ton of wheel, especially on that. And then also get it so it has, I want to say, almost the exact same ground clearance as what the Jimny has. And I want it to be light. And I want, if I'm on an incline, if I'm going down the incline and I need a, like a very steep incline and I park, pull up my handbrake, I don't want that trailer to slip or push the Jimny down and be that extra pushing momentum, momentum as I say, or even parking up on a hill. I want it to be able to, you know, just to be able to, when I push my brakes, the thing slows down. It doesn't have to be braked, okay? But I want it to be able to, that I'm able to at least get the journey up onto things as I say, and not actually have to be worried about it. I'm sure there's other things, you know, if, if you're driving a flat thing, you've got incline in the trailer, is that I don't really want it to do that, but also, you know, all those different facts I need to consider. I need to do a lot more research into this thing. Don't know what you guys think. Um, so basically, what I wanted to know is from you guys is what you guys reckon is better: going out, buying a trailer, maybe like a Cam Master or fence trailer, or something else, whatever I can find, and actually put, like I said, rooftop tents on that. Because I don't want like a caravan. I want to, like a trailer. I want something you know. If I decide to take a tent, I can put the tent in there. I can go pitch a tent somewhere, something like that. I want something you know that's light easily accessible and you know it's something that's not actually a mission to try drive around with like a trailer rig it up get it to a way that i i can use it for how i want to if i'm going to go four by four and also so i want it to be versatile i want it to be able to be you know family friendly and you know me going four by four and taking out that stuff there and also a roof rack must be the same thing with a roof rack i want to 
basically the overall daily expenses for me what would be the cheaper one to actually purchase my money on what would i actually use more of and i suppose that those two factors are basically my basically me what i have to experiment on and that's the first and find but then like the roof rack there you create more drag um you're very limited what you've put on this what you can do with the trailer it's all those things needs to do as well as with the Jimny's weight limits you're very 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 limited to what you can do i think i can put uh, extra 400 kgs brake on this or have extra on the Jimny for the engine to work with which is if you think about it almost nothing most like what my mom's RAV4 is which is a lot more it's, I think my mom's RAV4 has almost got up to a thousand or something extra kgs she got got to work with so it's those small things like that I need to work with and actually consider and see what would be you know the better option for me to go with this or that but what i want from you guys to do is a let me know what you guys would reckon to do and that stuff there because also if i also another thing i'm thinking of as well when it comes to like getting a trailer actually custom building it go get a go, go get the materials i need go sit down build it up and actually make it to my own specs i can make it to the size i would use and what size would be manageable for me for the chimney and as well as for like my family and stuff there and that's a fair. Even I could go buy a trailer and that stuff. But it would also need to work out what would be, you know, the more beneficial option that's a fair because I could always build the trailer there. I might not have all the materials I need to do it. But I've always I've got people that I know of that have got those materials there. Ah, uh, like Christopher. His dad built trailers. His dad's got trailers there that he's built that are roadworthy, all that stuff there. So basically I can go out go build trailer to a certain point until i need other tools that he's might have maybe take the trailer over there to his house you know even if it has to be blown up into a different trailer something like that i don't know i'm saying a lot of trailers in this video yeah but there's a whole different ways i need to work out first and that's it but basically what i want to find out from you guys what do you think is a better option a trailer or a roof rack for the Jimny for 4 x 4 and you know like a day-to-day -day basis type of video then what would you guys say would be the better option like um, when it comes to like a trailer and the roof, roof rack that's up there like the roof rack if you say roof rack say um, fixed or clipped or trailer straw bought or built yourself basically but anyway thank you guys for watching today's video I hope you guys went on to enjoy it and I hope you guys are actually able to help me and answer these questions that I've got like I said this video should have been a lot more better if I did a live stream but here we are Anyway, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you never miss a video upload. I think YouTube's actually got a thing that it's blocked my notification bell. I'm not too sure because on my side it doesn't show that, but I don't know. Because I, I think YouTube considers me to still be a kid. Something like that. I'm not too sure. Anyway, see you in the next video. Peace.